Hi, all Cinephile Mike here, your friendly neighborhood cinephile with day 73 of award season review season two. We are moving right along with Annie Week. Today's film is Netflix's Leo, written by Robert Smigel, Adam Sandler, and Paul Sado, and directed by Smigel alongside Robert Marionetti and David Wachtenheim. The film, released by Netflix in partnership with Happy Madison, like many of Netflix's other films, show no box office information despite its limited theatrical release. So again, for my box office punnets, I'm sorry I have nothing to share with you today. Now, anyways, staying on theme for the week, Leo has one sole nomination for Outstanding Achievement for Editing in an Animated Feature. Also, while these are not the awards I'm tracking, but I feel it's worth noting, Leo was named Best Animated Family Film at the Family Film Awards this year, beating strong Oscar contenders Elemental and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So its lack of inclusion in the Oscar run is a little interesting, although it's very possible Netflix decided to put more of their focus behind Nimona, which is one of the five nominated films this year. But we're not here about Nimona, we're here about Leo. Leo, voiced by Adam Sandler, is a 74-year-old lizard and the class pet for a fifth grade class in an elementary school in Florida. Now, he has seen it all. He has seen all kinds of teachers and students come and go to the point where, based on the first thing they say, he can categorize and know the backstory of these students. Now, in his cage, he lives with his roommate, Squirtle the Turtle, voiced by Bill Burr. Now, overhearing a conversation that lizards like him only live to 75, Leo is scared that he only has a year to live and hasn't achieved his dream of getting to the Everglades. Now, when the new substitute comes to cover the class, she requires that the pets be taken home over the weekend because they need to learn discipline these children. One student volunteers, an overly talkative and unpopular girl named Summer, voiced by Sandler's real-life daughter, Sunny. And Leo figures that this is his chance. He can escape this little travel cage and get to the Everglades. But while he makes his attempt to go, he gleans a little bit into Summer's life and realizes he may be able to help her and reveals he can talk and starts talking to Summer. Making friends with her, he decides to go back to school and slowly but surely by you know, letting this gift be known. He becomes the popular class pet. He becomes the confidant for all of these students, which doesn't necessarily sit well with Squirtle or amongst certain others who I won't reveal at the risk of avoiding spoilers. And Leo's actions will have certain ramifications and he will learn that not just does what he do affect the students, but those of other generations. Now, Leo was a surprisingly adorable film that will appeal to both adults and to kids. There's a sense of humor that Sandler provides that doesn't cross the line of inappropriate for a children's film, which some films do, but make it watchable for adults to enjoy the themes they're presenting and make it accessible to kids. Additionally, what I didn't know about the film before I watched it is that it's actually a musical. While not the first musical I've reviewed this season, I feel I have to highlight the songs by Jeff Zanelli, who scored the movie and the lyrics that were written by Robert Smeagol. The songs add a real fun layer to the film, where the songs don't feel shoehorned in, but when characters break into song, it feels like a, a part of it. I mean, it's not like we have these big let it go type skr breaking songs, but they, it is just kind of a fun layer. Now, the animation, the editing has been nominated for is great, and the animation is decent, looking akin to many of the films that Illumination has done, such as The Lorax and Despicable Me. The colors are very crisp and clean, and there are subtleties in the character expressions that are very clear. Sandler creates a unique character in Leo, helping spread the message of acceptance and never ceasing to achieve your dreams. For me, Leo is a strong four-star film. It's a nice distraction to watch, and it's not going to be one that has, you know, massive worldwide appeal, but the messages are great for children to see, and it's just a good time. So now if you would like to catch Leo, as I stated at the start, it is currently streaming exclusively on Netflix. All right, so Annie Week is moving right along. We have a few more to come. In addition to the reviews, tomorrow I will start posting short videos with my Oscar predictions, so if you're getting ready, those are coming. Can you believe we're only about 24 days away from the Oscars? They're coming so soon. 
As always, if you like what you heard here, please subscribe to the channel, spread the word. You can follow me, Cinephile Mike, on all social media platforms and Letterboxd. Come for all of the cinematic goodness. See everyone tomorrow as we continue the journey. But until then, this is Cinephile Mike saying take a break and watch something new.